we are prepared. We have uh, new uh, on our team um, a technology analyst, election technology analyst, which is a, a really interesting development. We also have social media analysts, five of them, which gives us the opportunity to understand how uh, the election is uh, going in, in relation to the uh, social media platforms. And uh, so we think we're extremely prepared as to the number of observers. As I mentioned before, we deployed 40 long-term observers yesterday um, in 20 teams of two, and they will be joined by sh locally recruited short-term observers. Um, and so that we will have 100 uh, observers when it comes to election day itself. But this is a, a process that goes way beyond election day itself. We look at all of the aspects and the challenges that are um, characteristic to uh, this particular election. Um, as to interference, it is absolutely against all of the principles of our methodology that we would in any way interfere politically with the election debate that is going on. That is absolutely a matter for the political parties and for Nigerian citizens. Our job here is to assess the robustness of the election process itself, uh, to make sure that it is inclusive to the greatest extent possible, that all the technology is as transparent as possible, and that we can, in the end, make a conclusion as to the credibility of the election. But we will not in any way make statements that could be perceived as politically interfering. And that is uh, the methodology that has uh, been the case for, for many, many years. Uh, as regards the 2019 election, it is true that we made recommendations, but it is not the practice of the mission uh, to compare elections. Uh, we start afresh. And we don't describe whether it is much better or worse than the 2019 election, but clearly there are some uh, issues that will be in common, and we work very closely with the uh, Nigerian authorities uh, to monitor recommendations and their implementation, and we had a follow-up report as recently as last year, um, and we published that. Um, as regards EU sanctions, that's a matter for Brussels. It's not, not something that we were able to comment on. Uh, that is entirely a matter for the European Council and not something that the European uh, Union Electoral Observation Mission would be able to uh, influence or to comment on. We met with the chairman of INEC on Saturday evening um, and uh, clearly they, they have uh, a, 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 a big challenge that everybody knows about and recent statements have been made by INEC um, However, we wouldn't draw any conclusions as to the state of preparedness of INEC uh, at this time, but we will be relying on their cooperation to uh, be able to uh, develop evidence, to develop data points, to develop uh, uh, our observations to feed into our preliminary report. And INEC is a, is a really important player in this uh, election, and we're, we're really grateful for the opportunity to have a very frank and open discussion with the chairman of INEC. Uh, and some of his commissioners uh, just on Saturday. So we've had excellent access to the key stakeholders in this, ex uh, in this election. And what I'll be returning to Brussels this evening, uh, our, our team here, our core team, will continue to engage with stakeholders at every level, including with Nigerian citizens, with the civil society, with the media, as well as the political actors and all the regulators involved in the electoral ecosystem here in, uh, in, in Nigeria.